Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and today's video as you can tell from the title is going to be a what I wear in a week video and I really wanted to film this because I've been doing a lot of like fashion and styling related videos that kind of have to do with hypothetical situations like maybe um, for example like 30 fall outfits or you know what to wear on certain fall outings or what to wear for Thanksgiving and I thought it would be cool to see um, like what I actually wear in a week so on my rack here I've already pre-styled my outfits for the week which is something that I do regularly because um, if you don't know I work a regular nine to five even though right now I'm working part-time from home part-time in the office which I'll get into as the video goes on. I don't normally have this much red on my rack, but um, it is the month of December and I am shooting a lot of red photos for my Instagram theme. And so I like to take advantage of the days when I'm working from home and I like to shoot for my Instagram after work. So I have some of those outfits mixed in here um, just for the sake of ease for myself. Uh, it's already ready to go. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my first outfit, which is what I'm wearing today on Monday. And so let's get started. So today, just for some context, I am working in the office and my office is typically, I work for the government. Um, so it's typically, I would say a pretty strict dress code, like no open toed shoes. You can only wear jeans on every other Friday, but because of COVID-19, the rules have sort of become a little bit more relaxed. So now if you want, you can wear jeans whenever you want. It's it's a lot more casual because there's not that many people going into the office. It's like literally like one out of every 10 people is coming into the office on an alternating basis. And I'm one of those people because I don't have kids and so I don't have to, you know, stay at home and work with my kids so that they can go to school. So today is really, really rainy. It's not that cold out. It's actually pretty warm. It's like the high today is like 67. So I wanted something that would keep me warm enough in the office because the office is like freezing cold. So that's why I went with this turtleneck. Um, but I wanted to wear, let me grab it one second. I wanted to wear my trusty black blazer because it's something that if I do get rained on when I'm walking to and from my car, it's not like it's going to show because it is a black blazer um, but it's not so warm that like because it's 68 degrees outside and it's probably like in the 60s with the AC in the office like I'm not gonna sweat to death because that's something I absolutely can't stand is like typing away in my cubicle just sweating <laughs> um, so I paired this blazer as you'll be able to see in the try on with some nice black slacks just to go for a nice black on black suit look with my turtleneck. I wanted to do silver accents like silver uh, jewelry that wasn't too like in your face. So I like these um, earrings. I got them from Majuri recently. That's for my first Majuri purchase and I'm really really happy with them. Um, I just have my usual rings on class ring from high school um, wedding ring. I'm wearing my Doc Martens because like I said like the office environment is a little bit more casual right now so I, I used to be able to wear these no problem before the dress code restrictions were more relaxed but I do like wearing them because they kind of make the black on black look like more tied together and because it's like pouring rain outside these are like awesome waterproof shoes and I like that it sort of toughens up like what could easily become like a really stuffy corporate look with like a turtleneck in the suit. So this is the perfume that I'm wearing today. It is, I don't know if it'll focus, the Maison Margiela replica perfume in By the Fireplace. And I love wearing this perfume on like rainy days because it's really cozy and warm smelling. So just like, it makes me feel like I'm by the fireplace. It literally transports me there. Um, so that's my outfit for today. I need to head out the door so that I'm not late. Um, but now I've got my setup all good for the week, and so I'm really excited for this video. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Today I'm working from home, and right now I'm filming this after uh, the workday has wrapped up um, because I just didn't have time to film this morning. And you might be wondering, like, Caitlin, why does it look like Kris Kringle himself has thrown up on your face. <laughs> and um, that's because, um, like I said in the last clip, um, on days that I'm working from home, because I don't have the half hour commute both ways, um, I do try to take advantage of that situation and I like to 
take photos for my Instagram. So if you've seen my video on how I plan my Instagram photos or how I organize my feed, I will put that above in the cards. But right now it is December 1st, so I'm starting to take my December content. So on days like today where it's like really gloomy, really cold, overcast, like terrible, and I wouldn't have had time to drive to a location anyway because the sun sets so early, I decided to take photos at home. And one of the photos that is kind of an easy one to do for me that fits into the theme is doing like makeup that's in the color of the theme. Anyways, onto the outfit. Um, typically, if I was wearing this outfit, which is a Zara bodysuit, um, some really comfortable nasty gal jeans. They like fit like mom jeans like they're very very comfortable like I can work from home in them And this is my husband's Carhartt flannel that I like to wear when working from home If it was normal circumstances and I wasn't trying to shoot a photo I wouldn't have the makeup on obviously um, I wouldn't have like all the jewelry and stuff on and I wouldn't have the belt on I would just be chilling in like the jeans the bodysuit and the flannel and I know like that's kind of weird that I'm wearing jeans while working from home but I just I've gotten to a point this year where it's like I started working from home actually on my birthday on March 17th and I got to a point where it was like I just wasn't wearing the clothing that I own and it was really frustrating to me because I was like cycling through clothing you know putting it in and out of storage like uh, spring clothes, summer clothes, winter clothes, and I just, I, I was things that I absolutely loved that I'd worn like two times. So I was like, I, I made a little resolution to myself recently, like, you know what, like, even if it's like the bare minimum of bodysuit jeans and an oversized flannel, like, I'm gonna put in a little bit more effort working from home. Again, not this much effort with like the makeup and everything, but if I was gonna run out the door, I just wanted to note that I would probably throw on my trusty band skate highs. I love these sneakers, I've had them. This is actually my second pair and I've worn this style since I was going to high school in Hawaii, I love it. So I actually have the perfume that I'm wearing today right here. It is a sample from Sephora and it is the Dior Sauvage. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. There we go, Dior Sauvage. I'm gonna guess that is French for Savage. It's a men's cologne. Um, I do like this cologne because um, it does it does smell kind of unisex to me. And interestingly enough, um, one of my good friends in college, Adeline, used to wear this. This was like her scent. And so sometimes it will remind me of her, but it's just, if you haven't smelled it in store, I would definitely recommend it. I love it. I kind of, it just, it's a good winter scent to me. It's like, you know, sexy man smell. <laughs> Who doesn't want to smell like a sexy man sometimes? So that's all I have for this outfit, and tomorrow I will be back in the office, so see you then. Good morning, today is Wednesday, and I'm working in the office today, so I'm dressed up a little bit more professionally than I was yesterday, and the weather today, it's a lot colder than it has been. I believe the high today is like in the 50s with some wind, but it's like really sunny, like not a cloud in the sky right now. But they've been really, really blasting the heat in the office lately, and then that combined with the fact that I like drink a whole thing of tea and sometimes also coffee. Um, I've been sweating a lot in the office, which I know is really gross, but I think I mentioned on Monday that like I can't stand that. Um, and so my office layer today is just this, it's a pretty thin, I believe this is a wool sweater from Veronica Beard. I got it as a sample when I did an internship for them um, back when I was in college. And this sweater's nice because if they do decide not to blast the heat today, it still will keep me warm, um, but it's not like suffocatingly warm, like super thick. Um, and then I paired that with these white jeans that I recently picked up from Zara. You'll be able to see in the try-on portion, but the layer that I'm wearing is this like really thick, cozy, um, Patagonia sort of slouchy jacket that I know I mentioned it in my um, winter trends video, which I'll put up in the cards if I haven't already. For the office, you have to kind of prepare for any situation with the heating or the AC or whatever. So this, if it does get freezing cold in the office, I have this option and it's super warm for like walking to and from the car because like I said, it's still pretty cold out. Like currently I believe it's like 30, but it's gonna get up to 50 and then it's gonna go back down. But like I'll be in the office when it's 50. So most likely I'll be like outside today when it's pretty cold out. So that's what this is for. And then I paired this outfit with my white Adidas. I really like the white Adidas look because for me, when it's an outfit like this, where I've already got like three colors going on with like the white, the red, and the blue, I don't wanna add another color. That's just a personal preference. So, you know, I wouldn't even wear like black shoes with this unless I was wearing a black jacket. But even so, like, I don't really like that look so much. I do like color, but I just can't do more than three. Otherwise it looks like really busy to me. Unless like, 
there's a print that I'm wearing with like multiple colors, but even then for the accessories, I'll just pull like one of those colors out of there. So anyway, that's why I stuck with the white outerwear and the white shoes, but it's for that same reason that I don't really have any jewelry or belts or other accessories going on today because again, I've already got a lot going on with like the stripes and this whole like detailing situation and the fuzzy jacket. Like there's a lot of textures and colors and patterns going on for me personally, so I don't want to like make it too busy by adding like a belt with crazy hardware or like crazy silver jewelry so i just have on these pearl earrings i got them from my mom a while ago the perfume i'm wearing today is the joe malone let's see if i can get that to focus wood sage and sea salt perfume i love this perfume it's new to me i picked it up at sephora i love sephora for perfumes and it just smells super like clean and just crisp and fresh and i don't know it just kind of matches the weather outside it's a beautiful clear crisp fresh winter day here in virginia so i'll see you tomorrow for a cozy work from home outfit bye hey guys today is thursday and i believe i said in the last clip that today i am working from home and for me thursdays when i'm working from home or fridays when i'm working from home there's typically not that many uh, meetings or zoom calls or anything like that and so I can definitely dress a lot more comfortably um, So this is a sweater dress that I picked up last winter on ASOS I believe or ASOS I feel like the British youtubers say ASOS and then the Americans say ASOS. I don't know um, But if you can see I have a little skims bodysuit underneath and so you're not seeing like my bra or anything I do like wearing a bodysuit underneath the sweater dress when I'm at home because it means like I don't have to wear a bra <laughs> so it's like I'm really really comfortable but I've put in minimal effort I have on a bodysuit a sack basically and my fuzzy socks and I probably wouldn't normally put on my pearl earrings I believe I had these on yesterday as well but I don't know it's kind of cute and if I do like have to have a zoom call or something it just makes me look like a lot more polished um, I have my hair up in a claw clip today I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that um, I like putting my hair up in a clip because it means that I, I don't have to like dent it with a hair tie and I don't really have any scrunchies on hand. Oh my god. <laughs> I just felt something fuzzy touch my leg. One second. <laughs> okay, this is Pickles. He was just sniffing my leg. Say hi, Pix. This is my cat. <laughs> he helps me work from home. Yeah, I know. I know. You just wanted to see what was happening. Alright, I'm gonna put him down. <laughs> If I was gonna go outside in this, like I actually have worn this dress to work before, but I've worn it with a bodysuit that wasn't so low cut and that like didn't look like a bra. So I'd wear like a black bodysuit or something. Um, I'd probably, I'd definitely also throw some tights on because this is one of those dresses where like it's fine until you raise your arms like above your head and then it gets really short, which I mean, it's fine like 90% of the time, especially when you're sitting down like in a work environment. But if I was gonna go outside, I would definitely throw on these. I know I've talked about them before. These are my, Zara um, canvas high tops. They look very similar to the Prada ones. I don't know if the camera's like picking it up really well, but this dress is a bit more of a cream color. It's looking kind of white on camera and these are definitely like a cream color. So it actually would go together really well. I've never worn these two together because I got these more recently, but I'm definitely gonna do that maybe this weekend. But anyway, I actually did put perfume on today even though I'm just like maximum chilling while working from home because like I believe I said yesterday, like I am trying to get use out of the things that I would normally get a lot more use out of in my day-to-day -day life if it wasn't for COVID. So I already talked about this, but I am wearing the replica, there it goes, the replica by the fireplace, because again, it's just really cozy and warm. Like you have to smell this perfume if you get it, if you get the chance to smell it. It smells like cookies and warmth. <laughs> and that's all I have for today's outfit. So I will see you Friday tomorrow. <laughs> Today, Friday, it's another gloomy day, unfortunately. Um, it's not supposed to rain today though, which is nice. It's like 55 degrees out will be the high and it's currently like 40. So I wanted to get some use out of this like nice thick chunky sweater that I got for my husband. Uh, he like outgrew it, I guess. Um, and then this on top is a camel colored blazer that I mentioned in my fall coats collection. If I haven't already linked it, I'll link it up above. And I used to regret that I got this blazer. Like it, I believe it's a medium. Uh, I picked it up at a thrift store, so I don't even know if it really had a size on it. 
but it's days like today when I have like a really thick knit on underneath that I'm like so glad that I got it in a size up because now it fits like perfectly it's not too tight or anything um so today I have on my thrifted Levi's as well and I did want to sort of bring in a bit of a western element I don't know why I just I was in the mood so um I don't know if you'll be able to tell if you'll be able to see it so much in the try on but I have on a western style belt that I also thrifted uh, when I was in Montana but the belt has like this really nice like sort of ornate silver detailing going on that you'll like find in a typical western belt so I really liked I wanted to match it I hope you can see them I wanted to match it with these hoops that also I don't know if the camera will pick up on it so well but it's very similar sort of flowery script like um, silver detailing so they do look really nice together and then because I wanted to continue with the Western theme my heels um, they actually my little heeled booties they are sort of like Western style black booties so that's the look for today I'm really happy with it because the jeans are like my most relaxed like almost kind of like sweatpants jeans because they are thrifted Levi's um, that are a little bit more low-waisted so it's not like it's like squeezing in on this like really thick oversized um, sweater because I do love high-waisted jeans and I do love big sweaters and I love tucking my tops into my bottoms I think it just looks more polished but like sometimes it's tough when you've got tight skinny high-waisted jeans and a big oversized like upper layer because it just makes like this weird bulging situation going on in the front on like your lower stomach and like it's probably the last place you really want like a bulging situation to happen and a sort of random thing about the hair that I want to note that I don't know might be interesting for some people is that when I have an outfit on that has like a lot going on up here, whether it's, you know, I'm in the winter and I'm layering and like I like to pop the collar out on this sweater and then there's like a whole nother collar and lapel situation going on. I do like to put my hair up because I do love having long hair. I have have I've have had it to my shoulders before, but the thing about long hair is like it covers up a lot of your outfit and there's nothing I find more annoying when like you've got a whole bunch like going on and your neck is already like kind of covered in layers and then on top of that you have like your hair streaming down. Even if it's like the spring or summer and you're not wearing layers and it's just like there's a lot of details going on, I will throw my hair up. For my perfume today, <laughs> I'm just wearing the same one over and over again. So that's all I have for today. I gotta head out the door. So I will see you tomorrow on Saturday. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, so today I'm just gonna be going out and about and running some errands and stuff. I am wearing an outfit underneath the leather jacket that I'm hoping to take a photo in today um, because of the pickles. <coughs> this guy keeps coming in every time I film. I think he really just wants to be in the video. Hi. Do you like your outfit today? You look good. Anyway, as I was saying, today I'm going to be out and running errands and I kind of wanted to sort of kill two birds with one stone by wearing an outfit that I wanted to shoot, which is the um, red flannel that I'm wearing without the leather jacket. I just have the leather jacket on because you know, it is colder outside today. It's like really gloomy and overcast as it has been most of the week this week. I kind of have a hard time sometimes when there's just like too much going on in an outfit. And this is almost, this is borderline pushing it for me because for me, this plaid, this flannel is like really, really busy. It's kind of warm toned, which clashes a little bit with like the cool, like silver hardware that I have on. And then I wanted to keep the rest of the outfit, again, not too busy, but kind of tough looking. That's sort of the vibe I was going for today. So I threw on the trusty Doc Martens. It's kind of a small detail, but Doc Martens have a yellow thread, like, seam on them um, around the outside. And so, again, it ties in with this on the flannel, which I know is kind of like a lot of thinking, but I like putting a lot of thought into my outfits. So I like the black docks um, tied in with the leather jacket. I like that this outfit is giving me like half tough guy with like the flannel, or excuse me, with the leather jacket and the docks. But it's also giving me like half I'm in Montana with the flannel going on. So for jewelry, again, I wanted to keep it minimal but kind of tough so I wasn't mixing too many different like aesthetic and detail choices together. 
Um, so I wouldn't have gone with like, you know, pretty dangly earrings because that's a totally different aesthetic than the tough guy, western guy kind of vibe that I've got going on. So I just threw on these small Majuri um, hoops. I like that they're small and kind of chunky hoops because again to me like it feels more substantial and tough. It's as tough as you can get with jewelry without being like over the top in my opinion. And so I think that pairs nicely with the belt I have on which hopefully you can see in the try on portion. It's just my simple silver belt. Um, not a lot of detail going on but it's just enough silver to tie in with the hardware on the jacket and with the earrings. The bag that I'm pairing with my outfit is it's actually a men's fanny pack that I picked up on ASOS like when I was in college. I wear it all the time. It's not like my favorite bag on earth but something that I do really love about it is that there is no noticeable hardware opposed to for example let me grab this other bag. This DKNY bag that I picked up last year. I do love this bag but for me again if I add this on this is a very ladylike bag in my opinion with the top handle. Even though the hardware is kind of that same chunky silver aesthetic. It's just like now I'm adding ladylike you know touches to the mix. So that's why I wanted to go with this because it doesn't detract from the outfit. It doesn't make it too busy. It's almost not even noticeable when I have it on so that's the reasoning behind that. The last thing that I want to talk about is my perfume, which is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Please focus. Come on. Anyway, so I'm off. I actually might be getting my ears pierced today, my second hole in my lobe. So we shall see. I'm really excited about that possibility. Um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow, possibly with new ear piercings. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, happy Sunday, and I know I look a little bit fancy for a Sunday, but today I'm gonna be going out and taking some photos for my Instagram, and so I have a lot of like really red focused outfits, because again, as I know I mentioned before, the color scheme that I'm sticking to for my December Instagram posts is red. I've had this suede coat from Zara since my junior year of college. I picked it up when I was doing an internship in New York City. The only thing about this jacket though is because it's a pretty intense pop of color, I don't like to do too many other colors as I've mentioned before in this video. Otherwise, in my opinion, that's like too much going on. Um, so I'm sticking today with the red and white look, which is why I have the white turtleneck and the white Adidas. But I paired that just with some simple skinny blue jeans. And so that way, like the focus is really on the coat. and. For my jewelry, I did get my second lobe piercing yesterday, which I'm super happy about. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, but I also, I love pairing it with this little um, silver Majuri hoop. I'm gonna leave this in for all of the photos that I take today. Normally when I'm taking multiple photos in a day, I do like to switch up the jewelry so it's not like so obvious that I shot like a bunch of looks in a day, but because I just got that second lobe piercing, I don't wanna mess with it too much. And I really like, like I've lately been really into the whole like dainty jewelry, like lots of dainty jewelry kind of look. So that's what that's about. And something that I forgot to mention is these sunglasses. I picked them up from Assorted eyewear. It's a brand that I discovered on Instagram and I am like a terrible sunglasses owner. Like, excuse me, I'm just not, I just don't know if I'll ever be the person that buys like designer sunglasses. Maybe if I'm like ridiculously wealthy and truly have nothing else to spend my money on, but I'm just so bad at sunglasses. I lose them. I sit on them. I don't store them properly. So the arms get all wonky. I would recommend Assorted because they're uh, reasonably priced sunglasses. From what I could tell on the website, they're really good at knowing what the current sunglasses trends are. Another thing that I just realized I forgot to mention is this bag. And I picked it up from Pretty Little Thing over the summer. And I was super stoked when I found this. And as you can tell, it's a really good dupe for the smaller size of the Bottega Veneta pouch bag, which was huge earlier this year. And I did like the silhouette, but I feel like even if I had like an extra few thousand dollars laying around to buy that, I still wouldn't because it's it's a trend silhouette for a bag for sure. Like it's not like, you know, a lady like top handle bag that will forever be in style. So when I found this on Pretty Little Thing for like, I think less than 20 bucks, I was like sold, that's it, like we're getting it. And it's come in handy a lot because I've never really had a white bag before. Um, and so like with an outfit like this where I don't wanna add another color, even a black, um, this is like super, super helpful. And you know, I think I'm gonna quickly walk you through the other two outfits that I'm gonna be shooting and just sort of my logic behind like what I'm wearing. So I'm gonna be shooting this look first and something that I try to do when I'm shooting multiple looks in a day is I will try to pick looks that I don't need to change like all of the pieces for. Like 
when I'm planning the, the outfits that I'm gonna be shooting in a month, I plan them all on like before the first of the month. And I do that just to make my life easier because of the fact that I do have a regular job. Um, it saves a lot of time when I'm planning everything beforehand. So I'll kind of look at all the outfits that I've planned beforehand and be like, oh, well, these three outfits, I can all wear them with my skinny jeans, like the skinny jeans I have on right now. And so that way it's nice because I'm not like changing in my car, like taking skinny jeans on and off, like that's a nightmare. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be wearing these skinny jeans for all three of the looks. I'm starting off with this white turtleneck, but the next two outfits are both gonna have this sort of black, just basic crew neck sweater. I thrifted this a little while ago. Um, and the nice thing about shooting winter outfits is that a lot of the times you can keep the same bottoms and tops and just switch up the outerwear and accessories and it really is like a completely different outfit. So this I decided I'm gonna use for both of these next two outfits just to make my life easier so it's not like I'm like taking off all these different layers. I can like leave most of my clothes on. <laughs> so and the next look I'm gonna be shooting is I'm gonna be breaking out this tartan um, blazer that I picked up on Etsy. I know I talked about this in my Winter Trends 2020 uh, video, which I'll link above if I haven't already. And the reason I'm doing this outfit next is because for the last outfit I want to wear a hat. And so for me it's like, the way, if I'm shooting multiple outfits in a day, the way that I tend to organize them as what I'm shooting first and what I'm shooting last is I'll try to keep obviously outfits together that share, that share the same pieces of clothing. So like for example, the two with the black sweater are going last. But other than that, if there's something that I would put on that I know for sure would probably like mess up my hair or makeup or like anything like that, I would do it last because like if I, if I style the hat, as my second outfit that I shoot and then I take it off and like god forbid it's like I don't know taking makeup off my forehead or like totally messed up my hair or something not a big deal because it's like the last outfit that I'm shooting if that makes sense so anyways I digress um this blazer for me it's like a really really like I can style it in a really ladylike way that's the way that I'm gonna go with the skinny jeans and so to sort of build off of that I'm going to be um, shooting it with this DK and Y bag that I picked up last year um, I love this bag. I love top handle bags in general. Uh, one day I am going to have a Lady Dior bag and for me this is something that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I went to G TJ Maxx like literally one time in my life and I picked up this bag and I used it so much last winter. It is no Dior Lady bag but uh, or Lady Dior bag but you know it, it, it gives off a similar vibe for now while I don't have like $3,000 laying around. Um, and then so to add to the Lady like whoop, to add to the ladylike look, I'm gonna be styling it with these Michael Kor um, knee length boots. And again, a, the belt that I have going is like a simple, I don't know if you can tell with the buckles, like a really simple sort of understated hardware just like it is on here. So I think that'll just give me like a real, honestly kind of like the crown <laughs> look. I don't know if anyone here watches the crown, but like I feel like that's a very like, I am a royal and I'm going to watch a polo game. And then so the last look, like I said, I'm going to be doing um, a look that's a bit more sort of street style-ish. So again, skinny jeans, black crew neck sweater that I already showed you, and this hat. Um, my parents actually, I think, bought this hat for me when we went to Monaco and Monte Carlo. Um, the summer before my freshman year of college and I absolutely love this hat. It's actually a kid's hat, but the adult hats like weren't as cool. But I've always loved this hat because it makes me just feel like, you know, it, it takes me back to being in Monaco and Monte Carlo, which was like hands down the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. Um, and so, but I do, I do love the red detailing on this hat and the silver hardware because it just goes so nicely with like all my other December um, clothing items. And then so just to like make it a little bit more cool, I'm styling it with these this hugely oversized, um, you probably can't even see it that well on camera because it's just like this big black blob, but this oversized puffer vest that I thrifted a while ago. Again, it was in my um, winter 2020 trends video. And just to continue that sort of cool, casual, street style, relaxed vibe, I'm gonna be pairing I'm gonna drop it first. I'm gonna be pairing that outfit with my Vans. I just dropped the other one, but you've seen these a million times on my channel already. Um, I do like that the white detailing on the Vans matches nicely with the white detailing on the race car on the side of the hat, if you can see that. Um, and then I'm just dropping stuff. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna pair it with this backpack I picked up in Topshop in New York City. Again, sometime in college. I just think the look sort of lends itself to a backpack because the puffer vest is so oversized 
any bag that I have that is black that I would pair with it would get like just swallowed up unless it was this one but again to me this is a ladylike bag which doesn't really match the whole vibe that I'm going for with this outfit so that's why I'm going with the backpack and I actually didn't put any perfume on today if I was just wearing this outfit out and about I would put on the Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt because I just feel like this this outfit is giving me like a clean vibe <laughs> um but i didn't do that because i'm if i'm being honest with myself i'm literally gonna wear this outfit and to drive to the location and then spend like 15 minutes shooting it and then just take it off so like there's no point in wearing perfume in my opinion so that is it for my sunday outfits and that actually brings me to the end of this video. This was really fun because, you know, it's one thing to throw together your outfit that you wear to work in the morning, but it's another thing to like actually have to explain like, this is why I made this decision when styling this outfit. And it was just like really fun and satisfying. And it kind of like re-sparked my love of fashion. Like this whole week, every time I've gone to bed, I've been like, can't wait to talk about my outfit tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Again, I really loved filming this video. Um, because this was a pretty easy video for me to film and be able to balance my regular job and everything I'm, I'll probably end up filming more of these but not too many I don't want people to get like sick of them but if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below that would mean so much to me and if you haven't already please subscribe hit the subscribe button down below I'm not exactly sure where it is but it's down there somewhere uh, I'm trying to get to those first 100 subscribers here on YouTube because when I do the YouTube creator studio will unlock more features for me to take advantage of as a creator because at that point YouTube is like okay this person is you know taking this more seriously so again it would mean the world to me if you could please subscribe if you haven't already um, and that's it if you have any video ideas please let me know down below I've already had some people actually email me and message me and even comment on video ideas which is very very helpful and that is all I have for this video and I will see you in the next one bye